Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about the top five New Year's hacks. So if you have a service company, window cleaning, pressure washing, anything, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here and you're just checking us out, you just found the podcast, what's going on? I truly, genuinely appreciate you being here. Have a listen. We have uh, literally like 230, 240 episodes to go. It's been going on for four years, every single week without missing one week. Not one week have I missed you, by the way. So go back, watch, listen, all that fun stuff. But if you are one of the cool kids, if you watched every episode, of course you're thumbsing up in the video. You've uh, listened to every podcast. You've ordered your supplies through me, shameless plug, and you followed me on TikTok because that's what the kids are doing. Then what's up? It is because of you that I get to have brand name cereal, uh, keto cereal, because of you. So thank you. For- very much. Uh, if you want to make sure that I have brand name food, <laughs> it's so stupid. If you want to have me be your rep, because I want to be your rep, let me put your orders in. I say this all the time, and there's so many of you, hundreds of you that order from me every single week. I love it. Love it. But we have thousands of listeners. So I know there's some of you out there who are not using me. I'd love to be your rep. For any window cleaning supplies, all you have to do, put it in your cart, be like, yo, Jersey. Put my my order in. I would love to do that. It's like an awesome way to give me a virtual high five. And that's how I make my cheddar. So go do that. Um, and uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, go check out American Window Cleaner Magazine. AWCMAG.com. Get a subscription. Please, get a subscription. Uh, it's a magazine that has been going on since 1986. It's absolutely amazing. It comes with stickers. All window cleaning orientated. That's a word. So go do that. Uh, Subscribe. Also, my number to let me put orders in for you is 862-312-2026. Save that number. It's 862-312-2026. That's my number. And uh, by the way, the TikTok thing, I just want to put that out there. If you're on TikTok, there's a lot of business stuff on TikTok, just so you know. It's not like all... um, kids dancing but my name is jersey underscore wcr underscore nation it's like the longest name but anyway go find it i am trying to be on all platforms uh yeah anyway so today we're actually talking about the top five new year's hacks now this is for you planning your new year when i'm recording this is still in 2021 uh but it will air The last day of 2021, I believe. So this is also the last show of 2021. There you go. Should have had like party hats or something. Uh, But with that all being said, there's some things that we can do going into the new year that helps kind of plan business, right? It, It kind of helps build business where a lot of the year we're just in like keep up mode. These years have been crazy. I hope it's been crazy for you if you have been. Uh, Tell me some growth numbers on YouTube. I'd love to hear it. Uh, But a lot of us that are in business are having killer years, right? We have employee shortages. We have more work than we can handle, which is a great problem. But we still need to do all that safely. We need to make sure it all happens without having, you know, big issues and things falling and dropping and everything else. Um... But with that being said, you have to kind of plan for the new year. Now, the best time of the year to do it is right now because we're going into a new year. All winter, you can plan on how your company is going to kind of look or what's going to happen with your company, what's going to change, all that fun stuff, right? All of that goes into the new year. So there's five things that I always, 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 always recommend changing. If you're not doing these, again, I'm just some dummy with a microphone and a uh, camera, but if you could do just these five things, it's going to make huge, huge dividends in your company. And let me just jump off real quick and just say one thing. Sometimes when you make a change, 
in your company, people are comfortable without change, right? But if you make a change in your company, it will then multiply down the road. Let me explain. So say you make a change in your company, you do this thing and you go, hey, you know what, we're going to change this efficiency and you change it right now. Say you changed it back in 2020, you changed one little thing. Well, that little thing is now been two years of changing and everything attached to the change happens. Like one of these things is a, a way to uh, increase your number of um, jobs, right? Filling your calendar before you even get there. If you did that two years ago, every single time, that means that every customer would be helped to do this. You're, you're going to increase your calendar and you're going to be doubling your business and then doubling your business on top of doubling your business. I mean, all changes, even the littlest thing that you think, okay, well, I'm going to start wearing, you know, nicer shirts, right? Say you're early on and you're, you don't have any logoed stuff. You're like, ah, all right, I'll, I'll get something. If one person sees that your mindset changes, you sell one job because of that. You now look more perfect. All those little things are now going on for two years. I mean, changes, even the littlest one, when you think it doesn't make a big difference, it's the future of this empire building. So look at these kind of changes. Look at these things to do. Try them if you haven't. And uh, it's going to make a huge, huge difference in your business. I promise you. The first one is the most boring one, but it is actually one of the most beneficial for me, uh, is... Uh, Filing as an S-Corp. Now, talk to a tax advisor. I'm just some dummy. But when I switched over to um, an S-Corporation, it saved me literally that one change, just filing differently, was like six or $7,000 uh, change back in my pocket. I mean, that's six or $7,000 I didn't have to pay the government. That's six or $7,000 back in my pocket. Like that's six or seven thousand dollars of profit that I got back. So just I know we hate taxes. I hate taxes. I don't look forward to it. Now I got it where I don't necessarily care because it's all being handled, right? But I just post I, I procrastinated so much on taxes. They suck. It sucks. I got screwed in the past. Uh well screwed myself. And it's just I got PTSD with taxes. I really do. I don't even like saying the word. But Doing them smarter takes the pain away. It really, really, really takes the pain away. It makes it not suck so bad. Filing as an S Corp is when you're an LLC, uh, you may be able to be an INC also, but most of us are LLCs for this example. You're an LLC, but you file as an S Corp, meaning that you pay different uh, tax brackets on dividends uh, or disbursements as you would uh, with normal payroll. It's a very interesting concept, and this isn't like this weird, you know, illegal. This is literally a way that you can file taxes. It's a way that corporations can file taxes. I now pay myself as an employee as a, a, before I was as a LLC. Technically, you're like a sole proprietor as far as how you file. And then you're paying a higher tax bracket, double the tax bracket, on every dollar that you earn or keep over paying half of the taxes on every dollar that you keep. It's very, very interesting. If you haven't, get a tax person, talk about an S-Corp. It really, really, really helps. But let's think about this. If you have $6,000 back in your pocket, now on average, a window cleaning company will profit about 10%. Before you guys are like, oh, I profit 50. No, you don't. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Profit means that ever, all the bills are paid and everything, including your salary, your company is left over with, say, 10%. Okay? So with that being said, maybe it's higher. If it is 50%, dang, I don't know what you're doing, but high five. 50%, right? We'll just go with the 10% model because that's pretty average for uh, if you're in a growth mode. 10% is what you profit on a job. $6,000 means you would have to bring in another $60,000 in work to profit that much money. 
$6,000 may not sound like a ton, but $60,000 in new work that you don't have to do, you don't have to hire for, you don't have to worry about, and you can still get $60,000 worth of more work, but that's more profits. The more you make, the more you save filing as an S Corp. So make sure to check that out. That's the boring one, I swear. They're not all that boring, but that is a really, really, really good one. People hate ta taxes. Find a good accountant firm and have them do it. Have them do it. Say you pay $1,000 a year in like stuff to the accountant. It is 100% worth not having to worry about all of that stuff if you pay somebody, say even $100 a month. It just takes it off your shoulders. So anyway, taxes suck. Get in because again, S corporation, you have to file when you file is when it starts. So if you do it right now, it will uh, file for the whole year. So anyway, okay. Uh, another one in the uh, top five New Year's hacks, if you haven't done it, you got employees. Are you hiring employees through a temp agency? Now, if you have employees and you're running them through an employment agency, in window cleaning, we have workers' comp, we have benefits, we have all that stuff. Look at all those numbers. If you have an employee now, look at all the numbers of things you put into the employee, matches and, and uh, benefits and all that fun stuff. Look at workers' comp. Put all those numbers together and see what you're actually paying percentage-wise over what they're paid. In a temp agency that I had used, I've used a few of them, by the way, some states... People are having a little bit of fault, uh, trouble finding agencies that will do this, but uh, just search around. It's the same thing as the temp agency in general. It's just they're your employees run through that agency. But for everything, for everything, it was 37%. Now that is the match on benefits. So I had uh, all my employees had uh, term life, term disability, medical, dental, vision, they also had paid holidays and paid vacation time, which all accumulated through this company. On top of that, the workers' comp was involved. So all of that together actually saved money by going through a temp agency. The other thing that people don't talk about, uh, money is always great. I'm a big fan of not having headaches. Big fan. But a big thing that happens with that is that any type of state audit federal audit, unemployment audit, uh, workers' comp audit, all of that never touches you. They're not your employees. None of that involves you. Basically, with a temp agency, I would hire somebody, say, oh, you know, Tom. Tom, I like you. I want to hire you. Great. Here's how much I'm going to pay you, X amount. Okay, awesome. Call up my temp agency. Hey, I got a new employee starting money. Awesome. We'll be there at 830. He does all the paperwork with them. I pay Tom that dollar amount that we talked about, same thing, nothing happens. And when I get invoiced, it's actually 37% higher than what I paid him. So for every dollar, it's an extra 37 cents. But for that money, that's all his, his insurance, his off benefits, his workers' comp, all of that is involved in there. So I don't have to worry about any of that. When the state tries to audit for employees, they would call and be like, I said, Wisconsin, you know, uh, uh, I'm assigned to your case. Didn't know I had a case. And they're like, well, we noticed that your uh, revenue has been really, really high, but yet you are not saying you have employees. You don't have any employees. I said, I don't have any employees. They're like, well, this isn't adding up. I said, we have a lot of people that work here, but they work through this temp agency. Like they're temp employees. Oh, okay, great. Give me their number. They have to then deal with all the audits. They go through everything. They keep all the stuff. And you don't have to deal with any of that. Another nice thing is if an employee upsets you or you find out that they are not a good fit or you find out that they are not um, a good uh, option for your company for any reason, all you have to do at that point is make a phone call. You can terminate them and they're still employed with the temp agency. You don't have to go through paying um, unemployment. You don't have to go through, um, you know, going towards a um, uh, employee handbook. You don't have to worry about um, wrongful termination suits and things like that that you know are rampant and all that. So there's just so many benefits of it. It does cost some money, but it just makes things so much simpler. All you got to do is just find a temp agency. If you find a, an employment agency, just call them and say, hey, I have employees, but I want to run them through you. 
and find the uh, the way to do that. I've had employees through, I think it's a national company called Express Employment, Express, I think. That was the only national company I ever used that they did that and it uh, worked fine. The other companies were local ones um, and did the same thing. So it's definitely worth trying if you haven't done that. The next tip in the top five New Year's hacks is one that um, I've always talked about, but as of late, people are like really, really, really like contacting me and letting me know that it's it's changed their business. Like they're just mind blown on this. And so I'm going to bring it up again, but it is scheduling your service like the dentist. Okay. Hear me out. You may have heard this one, but stay stay with me when you are done with a job 99.99 percent of window cleaning companies do this well thanks mrs jones it was a pleasure serving you hope everything looks good just let us know the next time we can get services for you okay great thanks high five you walk away what you're doing in that particular moment is letting them be in control of when they schedule what happens when you go to the dentist? Every single time, every person who's ever been to the dentist schedules their next appointment right there. All right, your next appointment's in six months. Uh, is this a good, yep, here's a slip. Why are you not doing that in window cleaning? You know that our service is done regularly. You know that if it was up to you, you'd be there every six months right? But if you leave it up to people, all of a sudden, maybe it's a year. A lot of times I have a lot of customers that are really uh, on top of it. But if you're not making the schedule, then you're spending so much more effort in trying to get them back. And, um, you know, they really only notice it when it's dirty. Oh, we got busy. Oh, we'll call in the spring. Oh, spring didn't work for us. We'll call in fall. All of a sudden it's two years later. You lost all control of your calendar, of your customers, of all the work you put in to get the customer and to get them to love you, you lost that. So why not be like the dentist? And at the end of the service, you're done with everything. I said, okay, great, Mrs. Jones, I definitely appreciate it. If you see anything, let me know. Um, so uh, the last thing we just, uh, your next appointment, did you want it in three months or did you want to wait six months? That's how I word it. Most people, I would say a bigger percentage, uh, three months, a little bit off, then let's do six months. Awesome. Well, is this, and if it's a Tuesday, if it's a Wednesday, whatever day of the week you're doing the service, like, oh, is Tuesday or Wednesday usually the good day of the week? Yeah, that usually works for me. Okay. Well, uh, shockingly, we're at, uh, you know, June 3rd. Wow. Can't wait for, uh, you know, nice weather. Um, that works. We're going to give you a call a week before just to remind you, and, uh, we'll put that down here and then make a slip to give to them. Just like the dentist, they'll put it in their calendar. You're still going to call every week, which adds a little work down the road. But guess what? Even if, even if you increased your repeat jobs by 50%, that's a really poor, I mean, we were at like 80, 90%. I never did the uh, statistics, but almost everybody would always be like, oh yeah, six months. Let's do this six months. Yeah, let's just reschedule. Oh, awesome. This way I don't have to remember. This way you don't have to remember. I'll remember for you. You know, I always let them know that. If you did 50%, think of this. How many how many customers did you have last year? If you could take that, say you had 100 customers. Say you had 1,000 customers last year. If you have, we'll say, for just even numbers, we'll go for 100. You have 100 customers. If you have 100 customers, that 50% of them schedule every six months now instead of once a year you've just increased your business by 50 percent understand that if you made a hundred thousand dollars last year by doing this one hack you're now going to increase okay let me rephrase that there's lots of stipulations i know but even numbers here focus if you had a hundred thousand dollars in sales and that was over a hundred customers those numbers don't add up i know but say they were whatever the customers, we'll just go by numbers, $100,000 and all of those people just did it once a year or even less because a lot of people don't do it just even once a year. 
if it averages at once a year. But now because of this new hack that you do, you now increase that and they do it twice as much, $100,000 for the year, 50% of them do it every, I mean, that's terrible numbers. You're going to get way higher than that. 50% of them do it every six months. You just added another $50,000 to your company. One hack. You're welcome. By the way, if, you, <laughs> if this works for you, tell me because I, I'm, I literally multiple text emails, calls every single week about this. This is literally just changing people's business. It's a very, very awesome idea. Um, that wasn't a pat on the back just for you guys. It's a really, uh, I mean, if you can make any more money on just changing a structure instead of going out there and because you're still going to advertise, you're still going to sell, you're still going to do all that stuff. Increasing this stuff is efficiencies. Give me uh, that virtual high five. Um, I would love to hear it. Anyway, so schedule like the dentist. Schedule like the dentist. It will increase your sales and total revenue. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. First off, let me say this. You're not maybe used to it, but if you get the dentist in your idea, that's why I use it that way because people are like, oh, yeah, no, at the dentist always. I've never questioned it. Exactly. If you question it in your head and you don't think it's a good thing, you're not going to try it. Think of the dentist. Every single dentist, every single place in the world, six months. Who made that? Dentists told you you have to be there every six months, right? We can be just like that. If you can make any more money by just increasing the frequency of people, man, that is absolutely rad, right? And the other nice thing is that it always skills, fills your schedule too. So if you're doing a lot of spring you're going to do a lot of fall. If you're doing a lot of fall, you'll do a lot of spring, right? Boom, boom, boom. You're filling that calendar. It's easier to forecast when you don't look, you know, right now when I'm recording this it is December. Right now, most of you do not have full Junes, right? Some of you skipping some winter. Some of you have some, you know, slots that are filled already in spring. That's awesome, right? Sometimes people just even ask you about that. But most of you don't have, say, a full June. You don't know what the next year, next six months is going to look like, what it looks like for your company. If you change to start doing the dentist route, now all of a sudden you have forecasting, which we don't have in our industry. A lot of times, if I can forecast, man, June's going to be big. I'm going to need people. And it's December. I can know that I need to hire. I can know I need a new truck. I can start planning way ahead of time to make sure that I'm ready for the big boom because on top of all this reschedules, the dentist schedules, on top of that, I'm going to have new customers. It's huge and it's a huge game changer without being cliche, so definitely try it. Another one that people do not like that will change your world, this is an uncomfortable one, but it's increasing prices. People go, ah, pff, man, I'm, I'm, listen, I charge good, I don't need to increase, Okay. Think of this. If you're the person who says that, right now you're listening and you go, man, I, I charge good right out of the gate. I don't need to increase my prices. Okay, cool. Inflation is minimally 2 to 4%. Now, with that being said, we'll go 2%, just on the low end, which as of recording this, it's the highest inflation in 39 years. But besides the point, a big thing is that with inflation, next year, you lost 2%. If your job is a $100 job and you do the same job next year for $100, you're really charging $98. You understand how inflation works? It means the dollar is worth 2% less than it was this year. It's the same reason that like, you know, people, your, your parents bought a house for $3,500 and now it's, you know, $350,000. That's where inflation, that's housing market, that's different, but that's where inflation comes from is that their dollars made more back then. And that happens. 2% compounded over 10 years is a lot. And I'm too stupid to tell you how much it is, but it's a lot. You're making that many percentage less by not increasing your, your thing. It does not mean that every year you got to make more money. Like that's not the actual concept, which it is why I usually do, you know, a percentage above inflation for a growth is because I want to make more next year because I know more, I'm faster, I'm better, right? So if inflation is 2% next year, we'll increase by 3%. 
when I'm talking to people, say, oh, all right, well, uh, so uh, coming into 2022, this is your first uh, cleaning. Uh, there is just that 3% uh, increase just due to inflation. That's it. Not one person ever, ever has ever complained. Because here's the thing. Let's go with more of a close to a real number. If you have a $300 job, that's pretty average for an average size ticket, right? Pretty close. $300 job and you increase it 3% after the year, that is $6, right? Three, six, nine, $9. <laughs> you tell somebody you increase their bill by nine bucks, people don't care. It's a $300 bill, right? But what that does is it keeps you up to date. Now there's a lot of people out there and I was guilty of this too for a very long time that don't change prices. They don't ever increase prices. That's cool, but you're losing money every year, every year. You're losing money. You're not only losing the inflation that you would have increased it because 3% on top of 3%, on top of 3%, on top of 3%, on top of 3% over the years increases it compounding, but you're making less. So you take the money that you made less and the money that you would have made, you're losing a ton of money just because it's uncomfortable in your brain to increase it. Now, every other job, and every other company that does not have like a reoccurring kind of thing changes. A lot of companies that do have reoccurring things say it's fuel prices. They tell her it's a fuel prices because people's brains understand fuel better than they understand inflation. So a lot of times you see, all oh, the cost of milk is up because of gas prices, right? It's really tethered to the economy and to inflation and to the dollar itself, but they say fuel economy or fuel prices because you and I and everybody you know has to buy fuel. It's the dentist theory. You bring it back to something that they know. So always increase prices and you're not going to screw yourself out of future money and you're not going to make less for doing the same job better and more knowledgeable. Remember, if I do a job in an hour, you're not paying me for the hour. You're paying me for the 10 years of knowledge that it took to be able to do the job in an hour. If you're not making that, this is not like, hey, everybody just keep sucking. The, just keep no, Everybody's prices go up. Heating, electric, all that stuff. Everything goes up every year. It's because of inflation. You need to be on board with that. Get your brain wrapped around being comfortable with it. And the last one in the top five New Year's hacks is push your momentum. Let me, let me go into that. When you have an off season, which we're going into, I know some of you uh, have maybe a little bit more um, busy because you're dealing with snowbirds. I get that, but hear me out. The slow time. As soon as spring hits, which is our busy time of year, it goes like a, a, a rocket. The big problem is people get too busy to advertise and they only advertise when they're slow. Don't do that. Nobody wants a cheeseburger if they're a vegan at 6 a.m right? It doesn't matter how good of a deal you can make that cheeseburger. 25 cents for a cheeseburger. I don't want it. It doesn't matter the price. I don't want it. Same thing with window cleaning. If you're in the winter and you're struggling because you didn't plan properly, by the way, it's a learning lesson. It's going to suck, but you're going to never do that again. But you can't advertise and spend money in the winter to advertise to people who are not going to do anything. What you need to do is strike when the iron is hot. They say that because it's real. As soon as that light switch goes and all of a sudden you're making 200% one month than you did the last month, advertise, advertise, advertise. It's in everybody's brain. They want it now. Advertise it. Advertise it. Push your momentum and plan to push your momentum. Now's the time. Get stuff printed if you're doing EDDM. If you're going to do commercial packets, trifolds, door hangers, all that stuff, do it now because when it's busy, that's when you're going to put it out. You're not going to have time when you're busy to do all that. You do it now and push the momentum. You ever seen somebody push a, a car off the road? As soon as it gets going, all of a sudden, everybody that's pushing it is like running behind it. It's because now there's momentum they need to push. They can do less effort to make it go farther faster once the momentum is there. Push your momentum and plan to push your momentum. This is the year. 2022 is going to be your year. Last year was great, right? What was your growth last year? Again, tell me in the comments. But this year is going to be even better. 
So plan it. Put it all together. Put the plan. See where you're going. Make the changes and build this empire. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And if it is awesome, you're going to need a lot more gear. <laughs> Shameless plug. Oh, it's great. Uh, give me a call. My number. You want to get a piece of paper? Want to write it down on your phone? I'll give you a second. <clears throat> okay, it's 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. Text me. You can call. Uh, I'm on the phone all day, every day, too. So if you don't get through, text me. I promise. People are like, oh, I guess you're not working. No, I am. I work all the time. I did have a vacation last week. That was like the first or second one of the year. So make sure that you text me, call me, whatever. 862-312-2026. Put it all in your cart. Make sure you're logged in and be like, yo, Jersey, put my order in. That's how I make cheddar. It costs you nothing extra. And it's an awesome virtual high five. So let's not be absolutely amazing together. And if you're talking about being amazing, I talk about this and I know most of you watching do not have the American Window Cleaner magazine. You don't get it. Why? Are you like, magazines are dumb. This is so cool to have something in your hand. In your hand. It's just pictures. This one was a tattoo issue. By the way, back issues are there. But you got articles. You got uh, new products. You have absolutely everything, including a sticker sheet. Because stickers are awesome. <clears throat> and every issue is going to have a poster inside of it. So be absolutely amazing. Go get that awcmag.com. It's American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's amazing. You're going to love it. And you're going to be like two high fives. Putting supplies in through me and getting the magazine. Oh, man. It's going to be a killer year. I promise you. And uh, until then, have a safe new year. Hopefully you're not hungover. Plan everything for your business. Let's make it absolutely amazing. And 2022 is going to be phenomenal. So until next time, go out there and be epic.